Shreya Shri is asking, what does the awareness practice mean at the level of we seekers? When the awareness is by grace, does this mean evolution of our minds or purification? It simply means that you are trying to use your knowledge in your daily life and you are waiting for that moment when there is awareness. When there is awareness, you hold on to the awareness. That is all. The more you do it, the more it will be turned on because now there is a, an importance is felt of this activity of awareness. Somehow it is perceived as more important because you are paying attention to what is happening. And the more you do it, the more you attend to it, the more you like it, the more there will be. This is the whole practice. Whenever I say try to be aware, that simply means that whenever there is awareness, you must allow it fully and completely. And there will be effects of it, which we keep mentioning in many satsangs, many videos, many times we have uh, discussed the effects of awareness. There are some benefits and there are some drawbacks from the point of view of the ego. You will first, you'll find that the ego has diminished. It almost feels like it is not there, but nothing to worry. It will come back as soon as it is needed. The awareness will be gone. The person will be back in total unawareness and nothing will be known at that time. The knowledge will be in the background. But then it comes back again. Oh, I was not aware. This is the first thought. When this first thought is there, it means that the awareness is already there. Otherwise, there was no possibility of detecting that I was not aware. Unawareness means this thing cannot be said that there is no awareness. Complete darkness. So as soon as you get this thought, oh, I was not aware or you, you, you may get this thought that now I am aware. Now hold on to this state of awareness. Pay attention to it. See how it feels. Is there any change in your behavior, speech and thought? Awareness is simply knowledge that I am the experiencer. Do you find that confusing or do you find it unpleasant that I am the experiencer? Do you find certain kind of bliss in it? And do you see the world as real, serious job to be done at any cost? Or will the world become like a dream when the awareness is on, when nothing matters, just like in the dream? You should note these things. So at the level of seekers, this is all you need to do. Now there can be initial questions like, when will I do my other work? Or how to bring it when I want it? So probably everybody knows the answers to these things. Everybody knows the answers to these questions. Childish questions. After the knowledge, the seeker must surrender to the knowledge. There is nothing more to do, you see. Non-doing. And yes, it is surely by grace. Because there is no doer, really. The practice is not being done by the practitioner. This you will know only when you are in awareness. Like your heart is beating. Nobody is doing it. There is no beater of the beating. Your lungs are breathing. Nobody is doing it. Your eyes are seeing. But nobody is making it see. And your ears are listening. And nobody does it. So, very easy. Nobody brings the awareness. There is nobody. It's all grace. The grace will happen to those who are ready. Who are ready then? Those who have understood. They are ready. And they don't even need to do any kind of effort. It is always there. Or it is there whenever it is needed. See, some people have this misconception that it must be present all the time. You will not even notice if it is present all the time. There is no way to notice it. Like a background noise is present all the time. You, f you don't notice it then. Then some people think that I should be alert all the time, 24 by 7. And they say, when will I sleep? <laughs> when will I work? When will I eat? Who will take care of my family if I am... Alertness is not awareness. Alertness is emergency situation, that's all. It should not happen 24 by 7. Otherwise, the health will be affected. Alertness means there is some danger or something important is happening. And awareness means simply knowing, simply being in knowledge is awareness. So, why do people have these questions? First, they do not think and they do not sit and think. Oh, I am in the step number four. Let me do it. Okay, okay. He said awareness. I will not check the video. I will not even listen to the definition of awareness. And I all I do is I sit with eyes closed whole day. And this is the condition of even the very, very intelligent seekers. No, you need to understand your practice before you even do it. If you don't understand, you should ask. 
So awareness will become a like constant background which is unnoticeable and you won't notice it but others are going to notice it. They will say, why are you so silent? You know, they don't know the word peace. An ordinary person does not understand the word peace. They will say, why are you silent? Why are you depressed? That's all they understand. You don't even feel a need to smile because smile is also violence, not silence. You smile inside. That's all you can do. And you won't notice it. Other, other people will notice. Your behavior is very different now. You are not arguing. You are not shouting. You are not crying. You are not even laughing too much. And you don't do any of the stupid things that everybody else is doing. There will be more changes. But remember, we are not after the awareness for the changes. That is not our goal. To bring in the change. It's not. If you, are, you don't need any change in you, in the mind, then there is no need of changing anything. It is perfect as it is. You are unique just like everybody else. Don't think that I am. I need to be aware just to bring in the changes. That will be therapy. That's not awareness practice. Some kind of medicine. You are aware because you see this is the path of knowledge. That is the only practice here. You want to progress spiritually, isn't it? You don't want to change the behavior. You don't want to change the body. All these are side effects. As I have already said in the video. Still people try to bring in the awareness. Even after listening to the video. Even after saying that these are side effects. Don't try to bring them. It's not possible. Be in knowledge. That is possible. But the ego is very strong. Knowledge is not really accepted. The thought will be like this. Well, I am in awareness now. Five minutes have passed. Nothing has happened. <laughs> I have this thing to do. I have that thing to do. I have this problem, that problem. My time is getting wasted here. And this is the ego, your good friend. So there is no awareness really. There are only thoughts. When there is awareness, there can be thoughts. They are like smoke. They disappear completely. They are not solid. They do not hit you like a stone. And they do, do not make you work. No action is possible here. There is control. Control is the key word. That is the goal of the awareness practice. To have full control over all the activities. But that control cannot come. If you try to control, it will never happen. That will be kind of some, some kind of suppression. Or that will be some kind of rejection. It is not called control. Control is when everything is happening. The dance of activities is happening in you. And you are watching. It's not stopping actually. It is watching. The stopping may happen, may not happen depending on how important that activity is. So there can be side effects like evolution or purification. But we don't do it. It's not possible to do it. It is possible to let it happen by, by becoming a bystander of it. You stand by. Watch. Watch the evolution happen. Watch the purification happen. If you do it, something is wrong, isn't it? So hopefully that answers the question. There was a long discussion in one of the satsang in English. And there is a very good video by Ashwin in Hindi. If anybody is interested in knowing more about awareness. And usually I don't say it but it is optional. The awareness practice is optional. In the pure path of knowledge there is no practice. Nothing is prescribed. The seed is there. And the seed will tell you when to practice. Which means it will happen automatically. Like it is very funny in the Kundalini tradition. People say that I am doing Kundalini practice. The truth is, the Kundalini is making them practice something. This is the truth. I think it is true for <laughs> all the practices in the world. The Kundalini comes whenever it wants. She wants. The Kundalini does whatever she wants. The practitioner cannot do anything. Unfortunately, it is never told to them that you are not present actually. You are not there. The only thing there is, is this power kundalini we also call it devi many times we call it devi that is all there is she is now somewhat activated or agitated by your guru now there is nobody to stop it there will be thoughts like i want to stop this this is not usual it's not natural see these thoughts are unnatural <laughs> you were never told that this cannot be stopped you were never told that it will happen as and when it wants to happen then there will be thought, no, 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 it is my life. I, I'll control when the Kundalini comes and when it goes. I'll control how much I evolve, when I die and so on, you see. There is nothing like this. 
the only way in the kundalini tradition is to surrender that is what this ego can do it cannot do anything and i am saying this is exactly the same in the path of knowledge exactly simply because we call it by some other name it's not the truth is not going to change this ego can only surrender and this top down process starts in the seeker body mind in the kundalini tradition it is it is bottom up i think this is also discussed somewhere because it is bottom up because you are familiar with the bottom layers only you think it is going out of control this is for kundalini people since path of knowledge is top down you think i am in control <laughs> both are problem isn't it? there is control there is no controller the kundalini seems to be out of control because this is never told to them that there is no controller that which is is already in control it was there before your activation it is there it is in control after your activation nothing has changed actually except your surprise this non acceptance lack of surrender causes suffering in the kundalini tradition otherwise there is no real suffering you can say a guru can tell all these things no nobody is there no doer is there surrender surrender and i'll tell you the truth the guru keeps saying it every day people don't listen then what happens is the ego is crushed by force of devi that is what happens then that person is sent to mental hospital lots of cases i have seen lots or in india you see they are sent to some tantric baba because there is some evil spirit in that body so it was a valid path now i don't think it is so effective nowadays nothing can be done actually even the guru will not do anything the guru gives you some kind of placebo words i am doing it yes 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 you will become good you will become fine you will be cured of kundalini <laughs> this is i have heard this thing you know who can cure the kundalini give me his name nobody same way when you do the awareness practice there is nobody to bring the awareness there is no controller of anything and nobody can stop it also one way street so i also give you placebo words many people must have experienced this thing what do i say you are doing great <laughs> i am happy that you are progressing but neither that person is doing anything nor i am doing anything then they write a long one page experience i had i said very good experience now continue <laughs> continue the practice meaningless isn't it the key is surrender the only way to get rid of it is to not go to a guru first in the first place don't don't take any spiritual path by any i mean any other because all the paths will do the same thing there is only one layered structure and it operates in exactly one way so that is the only solution pratip is asking i mean commenting many seekers even require preparation to understand path of knowledge it is our job to prepare them yes you are in the knowledge dissemination now so it is the job of the teacher to prepare them and those who are totally hopeless this is the duty of the teacher to send them to some other path not prepare them only those with possibilities some little bit should be tried you see although we cannot do much pratib singh i do all paths for potential and sincere seekers only the only preparation they require is you know to leave whatever they are doing and get on the path of knowledge and those who understand the importance of it they are prepared to change others they will continue others will continue on their old pattern 